guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you're new here, welcome, hi, my name is Holly Boone. Today, today I thought I would do a date night glam. I don't think I've done a date night glam in a while and recently this has been my favourite look to do. I've been on a few date nights recently, I just went away for my boyfriend's birthday and I am just obsessed with this look at the moment. I've switched up my routine a little bit. My skin is slightly different at the moment because the weather in the UK has gone cold, so my skin has gone a bit more dry. Um, but yeah, also, just before I jump into the video, I have been trying to sort out an external mic. I had, I've bought an external mic, it's a wireless one. It looks like it's so easy to set it up. I've been trying to set it up and it's just not working. So, I don't know what's going on with it. I need to figure it out because my audio is shocking. It's shockingly bad, do you know what I mean? Um, but just bear with me, bear with me. I am gonna figure it out. <laughs> I am gonna start on my eyes, but I'm gonna prep my skin because my skin is feeling dry right now. I just need to give it some moisture. So, just real quick about this product. Oh my god, not sponsored at all, by the way. I just need to share this because I'm actually shocked. So, I went into Boots the other day. I ran out of face oil. I always use the Elements one. Um, my skin is really sensitive to oils. I feel like it's a lot of time causes me breakouts or if it's got fragrance in it, it irritates my skin. So, I'm really fussy when it comes to face oils. Like, really, really, really fussy. And anyway, I was in Boots. I was just about to go away and I was like, I need a face oil. I don't have time to order one. I need one today, right now. So, anyway, I went to Kills and the girl, she was really sweet. She was so nice. I was just trying to explain to her about I need a face oil, blah, blah, blah. And she recommended this face oil to me, right? And it's. At first when she told me, I was like, no, surely not. It's a cannabis sativa seed oil, herbal concentrate. It says for all skin types, including problem skin. And it has a herbal blend of hemp-derived cannabis sativa seed oil and oregano, oregano oil to calm and rebalance skin. I was like, mm, I don't know, cannabis oil on my skin, really. Um, but honestly, best oil I've ever used my skin is not sensitive to it i haven't had no breakouts my skin has actually looked so good and been so so good recently i've had this for a week and look how much i've used i use it day and night i'm obsessed i can't get enough of it but anyway i'm not sponsored at all i just wanted to share it because i'm obsessed anyway i'm going to apply some moisturizer and then my oil i'm going to use the only Henriksen sea rush brightening double cream i love this moisturizer this annoying weather. The only thing I can say though is that I'm excited for like Christmas. All cute things like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm actually moving soon as well. So I'm excited to make my new place all cosy. So yeah, then I'm going to apply some of this cannabis sativa seed oil. <laughs> Honestly, if you've not tried it. If you have um, problem skin or sensitive skin to oils. Honestly, this one. I can't recommend it enough. So I'm gonna start by lightly underlining my brows. I'm doing my brows different recently. So I lightly underline them, I do the rest of my face and then I finish off my brows at the end because I don't like too much product through them. I like them to look a little bit more fluffy rather than too structured. So um, I'm just going to lightly just map out my brow. So yeah, I do like to pull my brow out a little bit more straight. Next, I'm going to take the H&B Cosmetics. This is the Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade 2W. I'm going to use this to carve out my brow. And I'm using the Ariel Morphe A19 brush. And I'm just going to carve out my brow. Not like too, too sharp, like I'm not putting too much product up against the brow. You don't want to do too much product up against the actual brow. Okay, so don't worry about looking crazy right now. It's all going to make sense. So I'm just going to use the Morphe Ariel. This is the A14 brush. I'm just going to tap the concealer into the skin. I'm not setting it yet. I'm just tapping it in. Next, I'm going to take some more concealer. I'm going to use the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF6. I use this to contour but I like to use, use this to contour my lids as well. That way it makes everything blend in really nicely. So I'm just going to take some of this on the Contour 235 Shader Brush from Zoeva and then I just map out where I want this. 
So I'm going to apply most of it just above my crease. And then I'm going to pull it out quite straight. I am going for that winged out look. That's like my favourite kind of look for date night, for be glam. So I'm then going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe Ariel A11 brush. And I'm going to buff this contour into my lids. And I'm going to blend it up slightly towards my brow. I'm not going to bring it up too high. I do like it to bring it up quite high in the inner corner here because I'm going to connect it to my nose contour when my face is, is done. But I'm going to just keep it softly in the crease and slightly above this cream. This concealer blends so easy, so nice. You don't have to do hardly any work and it will still keep the coverage. The coverage won't move. So yeah, just blend that nicely, pull it all the way out. Now that's blended out, I'm going to then on top of that apply some bronzer. So I'm going to actually use the HB Cosmetics bronzer in the shade medium deep. And I'm taking the exact same fluffy brush and I'm just going to go over the top with this. This is just going to set that cream and it's going to just deepen it up a little bit more. The reason why I do this um, at the moment with cream, contour and bronzer in the crease of my eye is that I feel like it ties in with the rest of the makeup a lot nicer than if I use eyeshadows because all the shades match. So the contour of the eye then matches the contour of the skin and everything just looks really monochrome, really seamless and like it gives me that kind of 90s glam vibe and I'm obsessed with it. Next to set my lids, I'm gonna use the Master Matte by Mario Palette, what is new, broken record, love this palette, can't live without it, I'm obsessed. Um, so I'm gonna use this shade right here, which I've hit pan on, as you can see. I'm gonna use this shadow right here to apply this all over my lids. I love this shade. It always ties in really nicely when I want that nice bright under eye and it, just, it really just ties everything in so nicely. I just love it. So I'm applying this all over the lid. Sometimes I'll just apply this like half to like the inner corner to like halfway. But recently I've just been applying this all over the lid. I just love the way it looks. So once I've applied that shadow, I'm then going to go in with the shade uh, Matte 4, which is this white shadow right here. And I'm going to apply this one right in that inner corner, just to give me that extra little bit of brightness, but only in the inner corner of the eye. I'm then going to take MAC. This is the Chestnut Lip Liner. I use lip liners as eyeliners. Obviously make sure that they are safe to use on the eyes, don't just use them, but a lot of times lip liners are regulated in the same way as eyeliners, so they end up being like you can use an eyeliner as a lip liner and vice versa. Unless a lip liner has some plumping, weird stuff in it, um, don't put that on your eyes, but most of the time they are safe to use. So I'm going to use MAC Chestnut and I'm going to run this along my top lash line. I'm keeping it thicker on the outer corner and I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm just going to bring it to, I'm going to stop it at around here. The reason why I'm using this lip liner on my eyes is because I'm going to use, I'm going to sharpen it and I'm going to also use it on my lips as well. Mix with a different lip liner and again, tie everything in. Make everything look really monochrome and it's seamless. That's just the vibe that I love at the minute. So I'm taking this pencil brush from the uh, Morphe Ariel Brush Collab. These are the best brushes if you don't have them. Get them ASAP if you still can because once they're gone you're going to miss out. I'm telling you, these brushes will last you years. I'm taking this brush right here and I'm just buffing over that with a bit of the bronzer shadow. So my lash perm is too um, curled at the minute so i end up getting mascara on my makeup but i just leave it to dry and then i dust it off and it comes off fine so if you get mascara up there that's just a little trick let it dry and then you'll be able to buff it off and it'll be fine so because i'm doing it for be glam i am gonna apply some lashes these are the samantha lashes from doll beauty i actually stopped wearing these for a while because they are quite dramatic and i kind of like stopped wearing a dramatic lash for a while but recently when I've been going out 
I just love it. I just love a dramatic lash. Um, you can use a smaller lash, you can do no lashes with this look. Like you can just do whatever you want like with mascara. But yeah, I've been wearing quite a big lash of it and I'm just obsessed. Trying to stick lashes on. When you find a lash perm, it's a mission, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to ya. I'm gonna lie to ya. It's, 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 it's the tough. Let me stop putting that really weird looking face. Lashes are on. I'm just gonna let them dry down and then I'm gonna just push the ends up a little bit, but I just like to let them dry first of all. So I'm gonna start on my base. So I've already prepped my skin. My skin feels nice and hydrated. I like to do that so that the oil has time to kind of soak in, the moisturizer has time to soak in before I start my process. Um, but I've been doing my makeup different with my base recently. I've actually been concealing, contouring, and then using just the tiniest bit of foundation to blend it all together. And I just prefer the way that it looks. So, I'm actually going to start with my concealer. I'm going to use the HB Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade 2W. Just to let you guys know as well, um, if you are from the UK, I have a pop-up shop in London next Friday, Saturday and Sunday, so the 12th, 13th and 14th of November in central London. The details are all on the brand Instagram if you guys wanna come. I'll also put the location down below. The shop's gonna be open from nine to six. I'm gonna be there. Um, it's gonna be so much fun. We've got bundle deals, discounts, um, and it's just a really cute little shop and I'm just really excited. I literally can't wait. So if you are around, if you're in London, any surrounding areas, if you wanna come down, come down, say hi, have a little shop. It's gonna be fun. Um, and I'm really excited to meet you all. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to use the shade 2W. I'm going to use this to... I'm going to apply this under my eyes and up down the sides of my nose. Also, you guys, um, I'm going to do a giveaway in this video because I just want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support that I have had on this product. I have worked so hard on this product and I was just so nervous to put it out into the, into the world. I feel like that's just with any project that you work on, it's just the scariest thing when you then put it out to everyone in the world. Um, but everyone's been loving it, it's been such a good response, I'm so happy, so grateful and I'm just, I can't thank you guys enough. So I want to do a giveaway of every single shade in this video if you want to win all 18 shades of the concealer all you need to do is thumbs up the video and leave a comment down below any comment just leave a comment i'm going to pick one person at random and i will send it to you guys in the pr box i don't know if you guys have seen it but it's a big box and it's got all the information the swatches on it it's just been um a lot of people have been posting it on their instagram stories that i've been sending it to so i don't know if you guys have seen it but it is so nice I love the PR box. I've got one in my office on the wall for memories. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I've applied my concealer and then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to press it in. So this concealer is a full coverage. It's suitable for all skin types. It gives you that satin finish um, and it dries down nicely. You do have a lot of time to work with the product. It doesn't dry down instantly and get stuck because I can't stand concealer like that. It's also really good if you have, um, it's also fragrance free, so if you are sensitive to fragrance, there's no fragrance in this product, um, and it wears incredible. So, you can use this for full coverage or every day, um, for, on an everyday basis, I just put like a couple of dots under my eye and blend it out, um, and because a little bit of this product goes a very long way, and also, you get 15 grams, 15 mil of product for 16 pounds, which no one else, no one, no one else is doing 15 grams, 15 mil product for 16 pounds. It's, it's unheard of. Just have a look online, no one else is doing it. Too Faced do a, the multi sculpt concealer, which is quite a big concealer, which also has 15 grams, 15 mil in it, the same as mine. And I think it retails for 22 pounds. So just to give you an idea of how much product you actually get, in the tube you get a lot of product so it will last you a long time but yeah it blends in so easy and it's suitable for all skin types and it just really gives you that nice flawless full coverage which you know follow me for years i'm obsessed with i'm a full coverage bitch and then to cream contour i'm going to use the same soft focus airbrush concealer in the shade 6n sf6n 
and I'm just gonna apply some of this to my forehead. You can use this um, concealer to cream contour, cream bronze, whatever you wanna do. It's a very versatile, creamy formula, so you can use it for whatever you want. I'm gonna just apply some along my jawline because we are doing a full glam. Fireworks are still going off outside. The best thing about living in this building, because I live really high, um, is I get to see all the fireworks and not have to go outside in the freezing cold. <laughs> I can literally see them everywhere, it's so cool. So I'm just gonna bring this up down the size of my nose. I'm gonna snatch my nose so it'll look like I can't even breathe. So to blend this in, I'm gonna take the Refi, this is the Duo Ended Brush from Refi, I love this. It just blends everything in so, so easy. The concealer just blends so easy and so quickly. And this brush just makes it so easy as well. So this is what I've been doing recently. It's just blending my full coverage concealer with my contour. And then I'm going to go in in a second with just a tiny bit of foundation. And just blend it all together really nicely. That way I don't overuse too much foundation. And um, because these products are full coverage, it just it's just not necessary for me to put loads of foundation on. Like literally when I do a day-to-day makeup i do a little bit of this concealer under my eyes a little bit of a cream bronzer and then i leave it i don't even put any foundation on um and also recently recently when i was on holiday um some evenings like i just didn't want to wear much makeup so i was just doing a little bit of glow and just literally a little bit of bronze a little bit of concealer and um good to go you know so i'm gonna let my nose just sit for a bit that way, I like the cream to just dry down a little bit, then it doesn't disperse too much when I try and blend. For foundation, I'm gonna use a little bit of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It's an OG. It's an OG. Um, you have to give it a good shape though. And I'm gonna use the flat end of my sponge. I just take a little bit and then I'm just dispersing it on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna use this to go over and just blend everything in really nicely. Just so there's not any harsh lines. Everything looks nice and seamless. But yeah, like I said, you just don't, I don't need to use too much foundation because you get such a full coverage from these concealers. So yeah, you can see how just that tiny bit of foundation has just blended that cream contour in nicely. So I'm gonna blend in my nose. I'm gonna use this Ceriva 2 for I should know this off my heart now, 235 <laughs> contour shader brush. I don't use any other brush for nose contour and I haven't for years and I feel like I sound like an absolute broken record at this point, but this is how you know when I when I fuck with the product, I fuck with it. You just know when I fuck with something, I fuck with it. Like I don't tell you I love something if I don't, because listen, if I love something, I'm using it for years and years. So next to set my face, I'm gonna use the Soft Focus Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. Soon, I'm just gonna be doing a full face of HB Cosmetics, aren't I? And that's all I'm gonna be using in every video. <laughs> it's getting like that now. It's gonna get like that, and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna take some of this powder, and I'm gonna set my under eye. I really press my powder in. You really wanna press it in. Don't let it sit on top. Because if you really press it in, your makeup is gonna last so long. You get no flashback with this powder and your makeup will literally last all night. I'm gonna go down to the center of my nose and the center of my forehead. I'm gonna take some of this powder and I'm gonna bake just underneath my cheekbones. And I'm just gonna bake up down the sides of my nose as well. Next for blush, I've been loving this palette. This is the Shapeshifter Zachary Bang and Cole collection and I've been using this shadow right here, this shade right here, which is called Amulet. I am obsessed with this blush. So I just pick up a little bit on the brush, tap off the excess and then press it just under here. I bring it up quite high. I like the way it gives me that transition between a bright under right and then my bronzer and it just makes me look healthier. I also bring it up quite high. Whilst that bake is on my face, 
I'm gonna use, um, so I've just pressed my lashes up on the outer corner, giving that nice cat eye effect. I'm just gonna take some of the, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder, I know it's really annoying when YouTubers do that, but my lighting keeps going a bit blue. So I have to keep stopping, I'm not really sure what's going on. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm gonna take the chestnut lip liner from MAC and I'm gonna use this to line my waterline. I like a brown wall, um, I like a brown liner sometimes because it's just not as harsh or as intense as black. If you find black liner quite intimidating, then try like a nude or like a brown, light brown, dark brown. Kind of go for that kind of vibe if you're a bit scared of black. And it will still give you that, that really nice effect, but it just won't be too harsh. I'm then gonna take the bronzer, so medium. Deep, itching because of my ex, and I'm gonna buff this under the eyes. I'm gonna dust off the powder. This brush is the, again, the Morphe Aerial Collab, the A32 brush. Again, you need to get these brushes, you just need to. Okay, because if you don't, you're really missing out, I'm telling you. If you love makeup and you want your makeup to just look snatched, these brushes are it for everything. So I'm just applying a little bit more at the start of my brow because I like my brow to come in a bit more. That way it makes my nose look more pinched, makes my nose look smaller. Um, and I just prefer my brows to be a little bit closer together. So I'm just doing that and then I'm just lightly just going through them, just really lightly. Next I'm going to use the refra the ref bleh. Wet. Um, next I'm going to use the Refi Brow Gel and I'm just going to comb this through my brows. Just going to comb upwards to set my brows in place and uh, just fluff my brow out a little bit more. So I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to use the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner first of all and then I'm going to blend it into another lip liner um, just so everything ties in nicely. So I'm going to just, like I said, lightly line. So next, I'm taking MAC Oak Lip Liner and I'm just going over it, I'm blending it down over the lip. This just gives me that really 90s, like I said, 90s glam. I just love it. Monochrome 90s glam. So lastly, I'm going to take the Urban Decay All Night and Setting Spray just to lock everything in. So this is the finished makeup. So yeah, this is literally my favorite at the minute for date night or going out, whatever I'm doing. Whenever I'm going out anywhere to an event, going on a date night, going to the club, whatever I'm doing, this is what I've been doing recently and I am obsessed with it. Um, I've gone back to using a full lash. I went a long time. I went quite a while going out, just having a little lash on. I'm just back to the full lash for now. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I do. Like I said, if you want to win all 18 shades of my Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I'll pick someone. I'll pick the winner. What's the date now? So the video will be going up tomorrow, which is Sunday. So I'm going to pick a winner next Sunday and I'll announce the video. I'll announce the winner in the comment section down below. So yeah, make sure you like and you comment and also make sure that you are subscribed. I am going to check that you're subscribed as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think next I'm going to show you my recent everyday glowy makeup tutorial because I've switched that up as well, again, because my skin's changed. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.